Hi guys, today we're going to be going over the problem, why did the cow cross the road in the 2017 February bronze contest? So a brief overview of the problem is that Farmer John is trying to count the number of times his cows cross a road, and each cow is labeled with an ID number from 1 through 10. And their positions are marked by either a 0 or a 1. So if it's a 1 and then it changes to a 0, that means it's crossed the road. And so if you look in the sample input, you see that the 3 changes from a 1 to a 0, and that signifies that the cow has crossed the road. So basically the approach to this problem is just finding any time the position changes and you can increment the answer by 1. So, okay, we'll begin implementing it. So I've just um, initialized two variables, um, n and obviously answer, and then uh, an array with size 11 to keep track of the position of the 10 cows. So I'm just going to initialize all of the values in the array as negative 1 so that you know, when we see a cow that's at 1, it's starting at 1. So, it all makes sense in just a bit. So basically we're going to check when we get the input if the cow the cow's value in the array is negative 1 that means we haven't recorded it yet so it will not count as a crossing so all we have to do is just set the array at that value to y and then any other case we receive a cow we check if the cow's value currently is, or the cow's position is different from the one we recorded in the array. And if that's the case, then we update it with a new position, and then we increment the answer. And yeah, so basically what's going to happen is that if we take a look at the sample input, first we have a 3 and a 1, and since we've never visited a 3 yet, we're going to go through this if statement, and we're going to assign 1 to the position at, sorry, 1 to the value of position 3, and then we take in the next input, 3, 0, and this time, obviously it's not negative 1, we just stored a 1, so we go to the else if, and it's different from the one that's stored, because it previously was a 1, now it's a 0, so then we increment the answer. And then we'll submit the problem.
seems like we made a mistake somewhere. Uh, Oh. Yeah. Should work now. Okay, and then that's it for this problem. Thank you for watching.